Hi there folks, this is Carl at Oyamist. Just taking a look at the tomatoes here. They're coming in well. That there is a cracky bucket, it's two gallons, and uh, one of the problems that you'll have it with cracky is that during summertime, it can get kind of hot and you can get anaerobic um, in the nutrient fluid. So one of the things you want to do is, um, on a hot day sometimes, is you want to aerate it. This is a standard aerator. You can put it in that hole over there and just throw bubbles up into the um, nutrient and it should um, decrease the, uh, the anaerobic bacteria growth. But uh, today I want to show you something else, which is a different kind of aeration, and that's with an airlift pump. So normally with an aerator like this, you have a, a stone in this case, it's centered steel, which uh, produces really tiny uh, air bubbles in the liquid. But one of the downsides of these aerators is that um, they require uh, continuous pressure and they don't actually lift water. And sometimes in hydroponics, you do want to lift water. So what we're going to show you today is um, an airlift pump that also aerates which means you can use it for cracky or you can use it for other applications such as um, uh, continuous flow. And one of the advantages of a pneumatic pump is that you don't expose electronics to water um, and you can use less electricity to pump similar amounts of fluid around your system. Okay, so what is a Tesla pump? Sorry, what is a Tesla valve? A Tesla valve is this weird thing that looks like this. Uh, that's a Tesla valve, it's 3D printed, and this is a cross-section of that uh, 3D printed thing. The uh, water inlet is over here, and it comes back in here, and these funny loops prevent backflow. So normally, um, in an airlift pump, you have a, a flat valve that closes off the backflow from the airlift. In this case, um, I've replaced the backflow restrictor, the, the flap, with um, a Tesla valve. And in this case, we see a two-stage, one and two Tesla valve. That's a two-stage. What we're gonna do is gonna use a one-stage Tesla valve, which is just basically this one loop. I'll show you how it works. So we have our air hose here, and we feed it into what is um, a half-inch pipe like that. There we go. Put the top on. Um, this piece is just to prevent uh, splatter. It doesn't do much else. And then you just simply stick this in here like that. And you make sure that the uh, air hose is all the way down. And you put it in a bucket of water. And this is a standard two gallon bucket where, um, which is used for that plan over there. So, um, we're going to take our handy dandy air compressor here and turn it on. And I'm going to slowly increase the air pressure. And <laughs> that was too much. Um, so, but that's actually the point here because um, you can see that we get really. A lot of lift for very little air. Okay, you're just burdling up. Whoops, it don't fall over. Um, it's just burdling up with hardly doing anything in terms of airflow. And that's actually the point here that it doesn't take a lot of air to lift a lot of water. And if you look at the uh, air pressure gauge, uh, well, it's hardly doing anything. And that's a Pretty tiny air pump. So if we take this air pump and we crank it up to a higher pressure, watch what happens.
and that's it. Thanks.